What's up everyone, Subterranean here, and today we're gonna learn how to make this sound. This is a very unique sound, inspired by artists on the PC Music record label, which mostly specializes in the bubblegum bass subgenre. Sounds similar to this have been used by artists like Sophie and A.G. Cook, but you can use this sound in any other genre, like dubstep, trap, future bass, and any others you can think of. So, we're going to start by getting rid of what we already have, and we're going to load up a fresh instance of Operator. Let's take our first oscillator and make it a square D. Let's turn up the level to zero decibels all the way up. We're going to take the release and decrease it to one millisecond. And that's literally all we're going to do with the oscillators. We're not even going to touch any of the other ones. This is a somewhat simple sound where the distinctness of it comes more from the effects we'll put on it rather than anything we do with the oscillators. Now we're going to go to our pitch envelope. We'll turn it on. We'll set the pitch envelope to 100% all the way up. Set the spread to 100% so we get a nice stereo effect. And we'll set the transpose to 12 semitones, a whole octave up. Now we'll take the initial pitch and set it all the way to 48 semitones. And let's play with the attack and see if we get a sound we like. I think about 14.2 milliseconds sounds good. Let's turn down the volume right here so we don't clip. Now we're going to tweak with the DK. I'd like to have it at about 189, maybe 191 milliseconds. We'll do the same thing with the peak. Put it at minus 24 semitones. And we'll put the sustain at about plus 24 semitones. Now let's click on this little curve right here. And let's set the attack slope to minus 100. We'll set the decay slope to 29. We'll type it in to make it easier. Just type in 29. And we'll set the release slope to about 30, almost the same as the decay slope. And now we're done with operator. Now we're gonna go into our audio effects and we're gonna apply our first effect, which will be a vocoder. We're gonna leave the carrier on noise. We're gonna leave this entire side as default. And we're gonna play with the depth and see if we get a sound we like. We'll put it all the way to the right at 200. Now let's tweak the release and see if we get a good sound. Somewhere about 52.2 milliseconds should work. We'll leave the attack the same. We'll increase the bands to 40. We'll increase the range to 18 kilohertz by 20 hertz. And let's play with the format and see if we get a good sound. Don't want to go too high or too low. About 140 seems to do the trick. Now we're going to apply another effect, which will be a multiband dynamics, and we will use the OTT preset. And we're going to tweak this preset just a little bit to match our sound better. We're going to set the high output to 10.5, so just two steps up. We'll leave the mid output the same, and we'll decrease the low output to about 4.30 decibels. Let's take this little slider next to the mid output and tweak it a little bit to the right, just to give a little bit more emphasis to the mids. I like it right there, just some subtle movement. Now we're going to apply a reverb. We'll turn on our low cut and leave the high cut on and make a somewhat narrow slope with more emphasis on the highs than the lows. That'll do nicely. We'll tweak with the decay time and see if we get a sound we like. Don't want anything too big. About 140 will be good. We'll turn off the chorus because it doesn't do anything for this sound. And we'll decrease the dry wet to about 28. Now let's fire up an EQ8. We're going to take our first band and turn it into a low cut times four. And we're going to cut out the unnecessary low frequencies that are muddying up the sound. 178 hertz should be good, and we'll leave the quantize on the default of 0.71. Now let's take this fourth band, which is a high shelf. We'll set the frequency to about 4.65 kilohertz. We'll just type that in, 4650. And let's tweak with the gain and see if we get a sound we like. Oops. 
maybe somewhere around 1.67 decibels, and we'll leave the quantize on default again. And now we're almost done with our sound. We only have one more effect to add, and this is instrumental to giving this sound that weird, bubbly, watery effect. We're gonna go to our MIDI effects, we're gonna grab an arpeggiator, and we will drag this all the way to the beginning of the rack, even before the operator. Now let's change the settings on here. We'll decrease the gate just a little bit, put it at 48%, change the distance to plus eight semitones, set the steps to three, and there we go. You might want to change those settings depending on what kind of sound or what song you're making, but we'll leave it on that for now. And here is our sound. The pattern we have is a little uninteresting, so we're going to click on our rate and we're going to modulate it. Let's start making some curves, maybe start out at 116 and change to 18 and 112 right here, and then we'll go back to 116. And this is what we have now. And there we go. So that was my tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. In the description box below, we'll have a link to the full Ableton project file for you to download. Please like this video and leave a comment as it really helps us out. And please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already.